non-stop twists and turns. Up makes another sensational claim. Alleges dump CM or be arrested threat. मुझे ये कहा गया कि या तो मैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी ज्वाइन कर लूं और अगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी नहीं ज्वाइन करी तो आने वाले एक महीने में ईडी द्वारा मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा. केजरीवाल इंतिहार आप फायर फाइट्स टॉप फोकस ऑन फाइव लाइव it's been a big day in court in the liquor gate case sanjay singh has got bail but the big suspense continues with arvind kejriwal still in jail what is the enforcement directorate going to do next and what's going to happen in the aam aadmi party just weeks before the elections i'm shiv thanks for joining in this is five live these are the headlines Prime Minister Modi's big attack on the opposition reiterates pledge to crack down on corruption says he wants bhrashtachar hatao but opposition wants bhrashtachar bachao Main kehta hu bhrashtachar hatao wo kehte hain bhrashtachari bachao Delhi Mantri Atishi levels big operation Lotus Charge says BJP pressuring her to abandon Kejriwal and join the Saffron Party claims Aam Aadmi Party netas received arrest threats the BJP scoffs at her and laughs Home Minister Amit Shah firefights dissent in Karnataka but disgruntled Ishwarappa to contest Shivamogga as an independent despite Amit Shah's peace outreach India rejects China renaming Arunachal Pradesh's towns rubbish as China's provocation says it's a senseless and wasteful act that won't change reality China can have at it Supreme Court cracks the whip on Baba Ramdev's Patanjali says government working hand in glove with Baba Ramdev refuses to accept his apology on misleading advertisements Sanjay Singh the Aam Aadmi Party MP is out on bail after 6 months in Tihar the liquor gate case means that this is the first bail to a person from the Aam Aadmi Party he was incarcerated 6 months ago and it has been a hectic day in court take a look arrested in october by the enforcement directorate 6 months later aap mp sanjay singh granted bail in connection with the alleged delhi liquor scam sanjay singh has been granted bail because ed did not argue their case at all and conceded on the bail because it was all apparent during the hearing and it was made clear by the judges honorable judges has made it clear before lunch that the against sanjay singh there is no credible material to make a case against him the bail order issued by the supreme court a bench of justices sanjeev khanna dipankar datta and prasanna b varale was hearing sanjay singh's plea in the excise policy case aap welcomed sanjay singh's bail mujhe lagta hai ki aaj pure desh ki loktantra ke liye bahut bada din hai bahut khushi ka din hai bahut ummeed ka din hai ki shayad kuch log ab jail se bahar nikal ke इस देश के लोकतंत्र को बचा ले मीन वाइल बीजेपी स्लैम्ड आप सेइंग नाउ आप कांट अक्यूज एजेंसीज ऑफ बीइंग इन्वॉल्व्ड इन वेंडेटा पॉलिटिक्स दिस बेल हैज बीन ग्रांटेड व्हेन ईडी एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द प्रोसीडिंग्स हैज नॉट अपोज द बेल ऑफ संजय सिंह फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स द आम आदमी पार्टी कैन नॉट क्लेम इवन फॉर अ मोमेंट दैट एनी ऑफ द एजेंसीज पर्टिकुलरली द ईडी और द सीबीआई is indulging in any kind of vendetta politics yadi aisa hota to bail ko oppose kiya jata sanjay singh has become the first senior aap leader to be granted regular bail in the money laundering case linked to the liquor policy delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal and his former deputy manish sisodia remain under judicial custody in the same case bureau report india today And here's how Aam Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh's family reacted once he received bail. 
आम आदमी पार्टी सांसद संजय सिंह को जमानत मिलने के बाद अब वो रिहा हो जाएंगे हालांकि कुछ घंटों की बात रह गई उनकी पत्नी अनीता सिंह जी हमारे साथ हैं वो दिन जब उनकी गिरफ्तारी और आज छः महीने बाद उनके जमानत का आदेश आप उनसे मिल के आई हैं क्या रिएक्शन था उनकी और क्या कुछ कहा उन्होंने अभी देखिए ये तो अभी लंबी लड़ाई है जब तक मेरे बड़े भाई अरविंद केजरीवाल जी मनीष सिसोदिया सत्यन जैन जी नहीं बाहर आते हैं लेकिन यह है कि सत्य की जीत हुई है और न्याय पे हम लोग को भरोसा था तो आज हम लोग के खुशी का माहौल तो है लेकिन जब तक वो तीनों भाई नहीं आ जाते तब तक ये संघर्ष जारी रहेगा तो उन, उनको बताया आपने संजय सिंह को जानकारी दी कि उनको जमानत मिल गई है जी उनको मैंने बता दिया क्योंकि अभी उनके साथ में ही थी तो उनको मैंने बता दिया लेकिन बस उनका भी यही है कि जब तक हमारे तीनों भाई बाहर नहीं आ जाते लंबी लड़ाई क्या उन्हें एडमिट किया गया है वापस उन्हें न्याय हिरासत में ले जाया गया है नहीं अभी एडमिट है वो और कल अभी डिस्चार्ज होंगे फिर उनको न्यायिक हिरासत में ले जाएंगे फिर वहाँ से फिर आएंगे माता जी से बात करते हो काफी भावुक थी आपके लिए भी काफी भावुक आ, समय होगा बहुत सारे लोगों के फोन उन भी आ रहे हैं लगातार हाँ अभी तो फोन आ रहे हैं लगातार आ रहे हैं लेकिन अभी खुशी का भी माहौल है लेकिन अंदर थोड़ा सी कष्ट भी है की अभी हमारे तीन भाई अंदर है तो जब तक वो बाहर नहीं आएंगे वो पूरी तरह से खुशी नहीं मिल पाएगी अब आगे क्या उनका स्वागत होगा जश्न होगा पार्टी के लिए लेकिन अभी भी देखिए चुनौती है कि बाकी बड़े नेता अभी भी हिरासत में हैं। नहीं अभी ऐसा कुछ नहीं होगा क्योंकि जब तक वो तीनों भाई मेरे बाहर नहीं आ जाएंगे तब तक कोई जश्न नहीं होगा जब बेटा गया था आप उस दिन बात कर रहे थे आपकी आंखों में आंसू था लेकिन आप कह रहे थे की बहुत हिम्मत है अब जमानत मिल गई आ जाएंगे बहुत खुश दिल से खुश हूँ बहुत दिल से खुश हूँ मेरा निर्दोष बेटा था वो निर्दोष जरा सा उसके मतलब बेईमानी छुई नहीं थी उसको जेल में डाल रखा था आज छूटा है मेरा बेटा हम बहुत खुश हैं दिल से खुश हैं बस यही मतलब यही अब क्या कहें हम जबान से कुछ निकल नहीं रहा मुंह से हमारे क्या मेरा बेटा छूट गया बस सबसे बहुत बहुत भगवान मालिक का बहुत बड़ा शुक्र है बहुत बहुत बड़ा शुक्र है तो आप आखिरी बार उनसे मिली थी जब वो आते थे इलाज विलाज के लिए तब क्या बोला था आखिरी बार क्या बात मिले आज ही मिले आज मुलाकात हुई आई एल बी एस अस्पताल में एक मैं उनसे टेल यू संजय सिंह इज इन एडमिटेड इन हॉस्पिटल फॉर ट्रीटमेंट एंड बी डिस्चार्ज मोर एट द मोमेंट हिज वाइफ अनिता सिंह इज अम्पनी हॉस्पिटल तो जब आप मिली उनसे सुबह तो क्या बोल रहे थे वो तो अब तो यही इलाज की बात हो रही थी की डॉक्टर मम्मी डॉक्टर आपको देखे हमको जा रहे हैं देखने तो उनको बुलावा आ गया देखने का तो डॉक्टर उनको देखने के लिए बुला लिए तो चला गया देखने के लिए और कोई ऐसी बात हुई नहीं and uh, so uh, sanjay singh will be out of jail very very shortly the paperwork is happening he's under treatment also uh, for uh, for a liver ailment now these are the enforcement directorate's charges against sanjay singh 2 crore in cash paid into tranches we're talking about the uh, delhi excise case or liquor gate money delivered at sanjay singh's residence approver dinesh arora and his chartered accountant confirmed the payment the enforcement directorate also alleges 1 crore was received from a company called indo spirit this is the claim by the enforcement directorate in court i want to bring in our reporters now in on this we have srishti yoja live from the capital milan sharma from sanjay singh's residence anmol bali also tracking all the political developments but i'd like to start okay we don't have munish pandey so let me go first to srishti uh, who was in court today when that great bail was granted srishti just explain this to us because the enforcement directorate apparently initially opposed the bail but after what the court said kind of made a bit of a tactical retreat and said we not opposing the bail can you break that down for us it's very interesting Well, it's definitely Shiv, a very interesting hearing that took place before the top court today because we saw the enforcement directorate quite literally take a U-turn. It yeah. has uh, an, uh, been opposing grant of bail to not just other Aam Aadmi Party leaders, but even to Sanjay Singh. They opposed grant of bail to him before the trial court, before the high court, and even before the Supreme Court today. Once a uh, senior advocate, A. M. Singh, we appearing for Sanjay Singh, concluded his arguments. Uh, the, the additional solicitor general appearing for ED wanted to. 
argue against uh, Sanjay Singh's bail. He had sought time. However, he even said that post lunch he would want to argue uh, uh, the case on merits. However, we uh, in a way uh, saw a U-turn happen once Supreme Court posed some direct questions and in a way also warned uh, the Enforcement Directorate as to what might happen if uh, ED argues on merits and if the Supreme Court decides to, uh, you know, decide the case on merits. The court made it very clear. Uh, the court told uh, the ED counsel that as of now, uh, what the, uh, based on the facts that they have before them, the accused turned approver in the present case being Dinesh Arora did not name Sanjay Singh in the first nine statements. Sanjay Singh was only named in the tenth statement. According to court, they will, they would have to consider this when they would decide whether or not to grant bail to Sanjay Singh. Secondly, no money as was being alleged by ED that bribes of two crores were taken. The court said that the fact of the matter is no money has been recovered till now. Now, even then the ASG in a way had tried to interrupt the court and say that money recovery is not needed. But the court again said that if we do decide this case and ultimately if we do happen to decide in mm. favor of Sanjay Singh, we will have to record it officially in our order that prima facie Sanjay Singh is not guilty of money laundering and that may affect the trial and also ED's entire case. So these were the statements okay. which had come in from the Supreme Court and that's when they asked the additional solicitor general to take instructions as to whether Sanjay Singh is even needed in further custody because he's already been behind bars for six months. Post lunch when we saw uh, ASG come back to court, he said that they have an arguable case against Sanjay Singh's bail on merits but they are willing to give him a concession in this particular case. Uh, right. they, uh, any, uh, however, he did point out that the same concession should not be considered as a precedent. But regardless of that, it's definitely a big relief uh, for Sanjay Singh and also the Aam Aadmi Party because as we know, he is the first Aam Aadmi Party leader who has uh, gotten any sort of relief uh, yes. in this particular Delhi excise policy case. Earlier, Manish Sisodia was uh, refused okay. bail right from trial court to the Supreme Court. So definitely a big relief for Sanjay Singh. Back to you. Okay, relief for Sanjay Singh. Remember the same court that has denied bail a few times in the past to some of the other leaders. So today's granting of bail to Sanjay Singh merits a, a, you know, a deeper look. And that's why I have our finest reporters here helping us break this all down because now it adds a layer of suspense over what the next steps will be both from the enforcement directorate side as well as the case itself and as it plays out politically just before the elections. Before I go to, uh, before I go to Munish Milan and Anmol, the charges against Sanjay Singh that I just read out, let me detail them a little bit more. Sanjay Singh is the Aam Aadmi Party MP who's been released on bail now. He'll be out of the R in just an hour or two from now. Sarvesh Mishra is Sanjay Singh's aide. He's been summoned by the Enforcement Directorate. Allegedly received one crore rupees on behalf of Sanjay Singh. Now, Sanjay Singh, remember, is out on bail now. He has spent six months inside jail. Vivek Thyagi is Sanjay Singh's aide as well, also summoned by the Enforcement Directorate. So those are, those are just some of the details of the people allegedly involved in the excise case as part of the charge sheet that the, that the, the Enforcement Directorate has made out. But Munish, if I could bring you in now, the bail that has been granted now to Sanjay Singh, uh, how does this, if at all, affect... Uh, you know, what is happening with Arvind Kejriwal, who was recently remanded to judicial custody and the case against him. How is the enforcement directorate looking at this? Well, Shiv, when the Supreme Court made it very clear that uh, the bail to uh, Sanjay Singh is not going to have any impact on the other accused in this case, for example, Arvind Kejriwal mm. and for that matter, you know, Mani Sisodia. As far as Sanjay Singh's case is concerned, and we need to understand this, it is completely different from what the enforcement directorate's case is against Arvind Kejriwal and Mani Sisodia. And that's the very, uh, that is why uh, twice Mani Sisodia's bail was rejected by the Supreme Court in the same case. As far as Arvind Kejriwal and Mani Sisodia are concerned, what ED has claimed that they were 
conspirators in the case. Arvind Kejriwal has been called kingpin by the enforcement directorate in the entire case and somehow the enforcement directorate has been able to prima facie convince the lower court and the high court that some money trail did exist uh, between the Aam Aadmi Party and the South Carter. Arvind Kejriwal and Vijay Nair played the important role. Why Mani Sisodia? Because Mani Sisodia was the excise minister when this mm. entire excise policy was being formulated and brought yeah. in by the Aam Aadmi Party. Sanjay Singh's role as far as enforcement directorate's case was concerned, it was very specific. One person gave 2 crore rupees to Sanjay Singh and whether any favour was granted to that person or not, ED was not able to convincingly uh, portray that, uh, you know, in their charge sheet which was filed against him. So, yeah. The case against Sanjay Singh was very weak in comparison to the case against Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia and that is why I think uh, the ED will have no problem in opposing Arvind Kejriwal's bail or Manish Sisodia's bail in future. Okay, so they will not be, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, acting in the same way that they did today in court even though it was a U-turn, a bit of a tactical move there by the Enforcement Directorate. I also want to bring in uh, India Today's Anmol Bali and Milan. They're both uh, tracking... Uh, uh, Sanjay Singh's family uh, at, at his residence where Milan is and at the hospital where Sanjay Singh is currently being treated for a liver ailment. What's the update that you have, Anmol, from the hospital? Sanjay Singh has apparently been suffering from some kind of liver ailment. He's been under treatment. His wife is there as well. He's not been discharged just yet. What are you hearing? Shiv, basically it was, it was seen that today in the morning Sanjay Singh, the Aam Admi Party member parliament from the Rajya Sabha was granted bail by the Supreme Court and he was witnessing some kind of liver ailments and after that he was brought here at the Institute of Liver and Biliary Sciences for checkup. and now according to doctors he has been checked and now he, has, he hmm. is kept under the observation and according to sources Sanjay Singh is likely to be discharged tomorrow and it was also seen that after some of the tests now he is being shifted to a special ward where his son Utkarsh Singh is with him and he is not allowed to meet anyone in the hospital, Shiv. Okay, he's not allowed to meet anyone in the hospital. We did hear from his family, however. Milan is there. Milan, uh, you know, his wife, Anita Singh, uh, telling India today that there will be no celebrations until, uh, you know, all of the Aam Admi Party uh, leaders are released from jail. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, the, for the family, it's been an anxious time. Six months in jail is no joke. Uh, but uh, uh, some relief for the family. We remember them on the day when he was arrested as well. Well, uh, Shiv, that's right. You know, everyone is uh, heaving a sigh of relief because Sanjay Singh happens to be the first Aam Aadmi Party leader who's actually got bail in this particular case. But there are other leaders who are still in jail and that's exactly what his wife, Anita Singh, was talking about. I'll quickly get yeah. a reaction in from uh, Mr. Somnath Bharti. Sir, we were earlier just uh, trying to speak about this. Manish Sisodia uh, is still in jail. And, uh, you know, the ED has decided to give bail to... Uh, Sanjay Singh, but the case happens to be slightly different from Manish Sisodia. So, what are you, uh, you know, expecting now should happen in the case of Mr. Sisodia? See, today what transpired in the court is worth being told to your viewers. Today, almost Honorable Supreme Court demolished the entire case because when they asked ED that did you recover any penny, they said no. Did you find any money trail, they said no. Then Supreme Court asked, the, do you want to oppose the bail? They asked the ED. And then Supreme Court said that in case you want to oppose the bail, then I will be listing it for uh, arguing arguments on merits. And then they said repercussions would be, may not be favorable to you. F following which, post lunch, ED came back and said, no, we will not oppose the bail. It means they were apprehensive that if we oppose the will and the matter gets argued on merits and the court decides the matter on merits, then the entire case may get demolished. That was the fear. So it means the entire case is fake. They have admitted now. It means that there is no evidence against anybody. No money recovery. Because similar has been the case for Arvindji also. What was the case against Sanjay Singh? The case was that Dinesh Aroda, who was earlier accused, who was made approver, by whom? By ED 
on instructions of one second one instructions of bjp I, I and eight eight statements had no mention of sanjay singh in this statement but in this particular matter manish ji has been denied bail by the supreme court itself so where do you see this leading to uh, the court has also said that this is not a precedent but we have granted bail there can be bail in some peculiar cases in in terms of this case where do you see this going from here on forward see let me see the entire order to give you comment that way but as a lawyer i see that since the parity has been there the, as a legal precedence and i see as a lawyer that there is no difference between the case of manish sodia and sanjay singh arvind kejriwal and sanjay singh hence because manish sodia was on, on on a similar thing he was put behind bar arvind ji has been put behind bar on a similar thing that one uh, reddy sarachandra reddy who did not name arvind kejriwal in uh, six of his statements under the fear and under the lure of his own freedom he named arvind kejriwal in the seventh statement he was also made to pay 55 crores to bjp so bjp struck a deal with this fellow on two things that you will first name arvind kejriwal and then you will also pay 55 crores bjp converted enforcement directorate to you know uh, in a in a manner to 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 extort money extortion directorate so what i'm saying today bjp stands exposed in, uh, before the nation that they have misused ed abused ed for political gains to implicate false to implicate innocent leaders of aam aadmi party and today the entire nation has watched that how this attempt to crush aam aadmi party they did not succeed in so definitely you know the aam aadmi party is looking at it from the angle of a president shiv but perhaps uh, it remains to be seen because the same court uh, in case of manish sisodia has not granted bail as my colleague munish just pointed out there and it remains to be seen how the party will now take this forward of course we are in uh, sanjay singh's home he is currently in hospital because he right. had gone for a check up they will come out tomorrow and there will be a procedure that will also be followed tomorrow after which he will be out on bail and that will okay. be a big message we are also expecting a message from him tomorrow so we'll have to wait and see what sanjay singh will have to say himself the Bye. court's words today while granting bail to sanjay singh have most definitely apart from giving relief to the aam aadmi party have also given the aam aadmi party a certain amount of ammunition it may not be a precedent but a certain amount of ammunition especially on the issue of money trail the enforcement directorate uh, you know obviously hasn't commented on it but the case against arvind kejriwal is vastly different says munish and that will definitely continue you but remember with elections coming up it is also about perception and optics and that's what the aam aadmi party will be going for hammer and tongs now i'd like to thank all of our reporters for joining us with their perspective with kejriwal in jail the aam aadmi party faces governance hurdles remember there's a government to run in delhi aam aadmi party mlas including six ministers have pledged support to sunita kejriwal the wife of arvind kejriwal she is not a politician Despite jail limitations the Aam Aadmi Party has taken an oath to stand by Kejriwal even if it means governing from jail take a look With CM Arvind Kejriwal behind bars for 2 weeks the Aam Aadmi Party is facing the daunting task of governance in Delhi Your name and case for the first time 55 AAP MLAs including 6 ministers met the chief minister's wife Sunita Kejriwal on Tuesday to express their unwavering support even if it meant running the government from jail Humne bhabhi ke zariye Arvind ji tak baat pahunchayi hai ki bhai aap bhajpa ke dabab mein kabhi nahi aayenge और आप मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं मुख्यमंत्री बने रहेंगे मनीष सिसोडिया की गिरफ्तारी हुई आपने उनसे इस्तीफा लिया आपने सतेंद्र जैन से भाजपा ने ही दबाव बनाया जनता की आवाज बन गए आपने इस्तीफा लिया आज ये दोहरे मापदंड क्यों हैं अरविंद केजरीवाल जी रनिंग द गवर्नमेंट फ्रॉम तिहार जेल इज नो इजी टास्क the prison manual poses limitations there is no facility of creating a cm office in jail right now the chief minister won't be able to hold cabinet meetings or sign official documents inside the jail the lieutenant governor will decide whether arrangements can be made in jail for kejriwal to function as chief minister the chief minister also needs to take court approval for any arrangements proposed
Following Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's incarceration, Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched a blistering attack on the opposition at a rally in Uttarakhand's Rudrapur. हर प्रश्न पर कार्रवाई जारी रहे बहुत कम समय बाकी रह गया है तीसरे तम में भ्रष्टाचार पर और तेज प्रहार होगा ये मैं आपको गारंटी देने आया Delhi Minister Atishi has alleged the ED will target her and Saurabh Bharadwaj next and added that attempts were made to poach her from up Mujhe ye kaha gaya कि या तो मैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी ज्वाइन कर लू अपना पॉलिटिकल करियर बचा लू अपना पॉलिटिकल करियर बढ़ा लू और अगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी नहीं ज्वाइन करी तो आने वाले एक महीने में ईडी द्वारा मुझे गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाएगा सौरभ भारद्वाज बैक्ट आतिशीस चार्जेस उनके किसी बहुत करीबी आदमी के माध्यम से ऑफर दिया गया है कि अगर आम आदमी पार्टी छोड़ दोगे तो बहुत बढ़िया करियर बना लेंगे और अगर नहीं छोड़ोगे तो जेल जाओगे एक महीने के अंदर अंदर ही तो खुल्लम खुल्ला धमकी है रात भर की प्लानिंग के बाद सवेरे निकलता है कि हमको ऑफर मिल रहा है अरे भारतीय जनता पार्टी भ्रष्टाचार के खिलाफ जीरो टॉलरेंस रखती है आप लोग कह रहे हैं वो लोग कह रहे हैं कि भ्रष्टाचारी को लाइए नरेंद्र मोदी जी का बीजेपी का स्टैंड है भ्रष्टाचार को हटाइए अरविंद केजरीवाल अरेस्ट को रूल हिम आउट ऑफ द एंटायर लोकसभा कैंपेन द आप लीडरशिप नाउ फेसेस द ट्विन चैलेंज ऑफ फाइटिंग द लोकसभा इलेक्शन एंड कीपिंग द पार्टी टूगेदर Bureau Report India Today Well right after Delhi minister from the Aam Aadmi Party Atishi claimed that the BJP was trying to bribe her into crossing over to the BJP side two Modi ministers have slammed Atishi's operation lotus claim They say no vacancy for activists like Atishi who will end up damaging the BJP. Take a look. हमारे यहाँ Atishi जैसे political activists के लिए कोई vacancy है नहीं. जब शराब घोटाले में सारी आम आदमी party पसी हुई है, तो हम इस समय उनको आपने यहाँ लेके हमने क्या आपने लिए सिरदर्दी create करनी है. मैं यही कहूँगा एक के बाद दूसरा भ्रष्ट आम आदमी party का नेता. शराब घोटाले में जेल गया और कैसे इन्होंने देश की जनता और दिल्ली की जनता के साथ विश्वासघात किया ये दुर्भाग्य है बहुत पीड़ा होती है पहले ठगा जनता को सत्ता में आने के लिए झूठे बोल के कि हम भ्रष्टाचार के खिलाफ लड़ाई लड़ेंगे लेकिन एक नहीं अधिकतर सभी इनके नेता शराब घोटाले में फंसे हुए हैं ईडी की जांच के बावजूद वहां नहीं गए तो उसके बाद गिरफ्तारी हो गई छह छह महीने से जेल में है कोई डेढ़ साल से जेल में है ये अपने आप दिखाता है कि कितनी भ्रष्ट आम आदमी पार्टी है और कट्टर बेईमान अरविंद केजरीवाल एंड यू डोंट मिस वॉट कमिंग शॉर्ट ब्रेक इज द जेलिंग ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल वेन डेटा और ड्यू प्रोसेस ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ डेमोक्रेटिक न्यूज रूम विद मी एंड माई कॉलिग्स इन द इंडिया टूडे न्यूज रूम राइट आफ्टर दिस ब्रेक डोंट मिस इट intelligence meets art motorola h50 pro hello moto once again india today wins the best news channel of the year
Thank you, Enba, for all of these awards, all 108 of them. But for us viewers, the greatest reward and award is your trust. We're just weeks away from a high-powered, high-pressure elections, and I know that your trust will carry us through. Thank you. Enba Awards me. हम है चार सौ पार India's claim is mainly that the Kachatibu Island belonged to the uh, Raja of uh, Ramnath uh, and that he had it from the time that East India Company uh, assigned it to him. It was part of his zamindari rights and these rights also included fishery uh, and uh, also that uh, later on these rights moved from the Raja of Ramnath to the Madras government. A second argument was that uh, during uh, the after independence for many years Indian customs regularly went to Kachatibu and uh, you know uh, they, they, this was not obstructed uh, and uh, the Indian view also was that uh, there was absence of any documentary evidence to show that Sri Lanka had an original title to Kachatibu whether it was Pandit Nehru or whether it was Indira Gandhi this very dismissive attitude this little rock, this island of, no, small island of no importance. This was the historic Congress attitude towards Kachatibu. The truth is, for a party which has been saying, how was Kachatibu given away? How was state government not consulted? You know, how could the union government have done this? The fact is that actually there were consultations going on. They were kept fully informed. Make your media plans smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at arjthug.com. The arrest of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and his remand to judicial custody has become a big angry flashpoint just a few weeks before elections. The big question is, is this vendetta or is this due process? The Ahmadmi party is using this to project the BJP as an aggressor trying to damage and destroy the Ahmadmi party on the threshold of elections. The BJP is being accused of using the timing to get the maximum political benefit. So is this vendetta or is this due process? On the Democratic Newsroom here at India Today, we're going to talk to all of our editors and anchors to see what everyone thinks. Preeti, I'm going to start with you. Uh, Preeti tracks the Aam Aadmi Party and politics for us here at India Today. Vendetta or due process, this is something that's been going on for a, f you know, for a few months, many summons, etc. Now the Aam Aadmi Party says this is pure, unadulterated vendetta. You know, vendetta or due process, this has been the 
uh, political narrative shift for a while. But, uh, you know, all I can say is today with the latest development of Sanjay Singh getting bail from the Supreme Court, uh, what would be damaging, uh, you know, uh, for the due process uh, narrative is the fact that the top court of the country said that there is no money, money trail and there is no transaction. And that has been the benchmark of uh, what at least the political narrative is. So, you know, where the ED is concerned, yes, it's a setback for the enforcement directorate, but I'm just talking about the political narrative. So this development will, of course, bolster uh, the opposition's claim. And uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, if you look at it, Shib, what is the opposition saying? Uh, they are constantly speaking of, and we've heard it too many times uh, already, the cliche of the BJP washing machine. And there have been leaders who, if you've skipped over Strangely, uh, you know, the agencies have gone slow or cases have been closed, point uh, uh, being the latest one where it happened with Praful Patel, where, you know, there was a closure report filed. And so that's a political narrative and that will continue to go on. Uh, it'd be interesting at uh, the back of Sanjay Singh and the comments that were made in court today, how uh, the political heat mm -hmm. is uh, ranked up or cranked up from the Aam Aadmi Party side, because now what has been the narrative of the BJP, and I'm just talking about our debates, every time they come, it's they say it's due process, why is it that bail has not been given, right. you know, by, a, by the lower court to the top court, and today the Aam Aadmi Party will come and say that this is what the top court has said. So, you know, it's, yeah. it, it's the politics of it, and it's going Mun to continue. Right. M Munish, uh, Munish uh, Pandey tracks the enforcement directorate. You've seen him uh, breaking all the big stories as far as this case is concerned. How does the ED defend on it? You know, the ED doesn't comment on the politics of it, the timing, etc. But the point that Preeti raised about what the court has said while granting bail to Sanjay Singh on the money trail issue, how do they defend against that? Because that goes to the heart of the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal as well. Well, Shiv, remember this is the same court which refused to grant bail to Mani Sisodia twice. Uh, his bail was rejected by the lower court, then high court, and then Supreme Court twice. Now, today Sanjay Singh has got bail, but you have to see that uh, there are two different cases here. As far as Sanjay Singh is concerned, his role, according to Enforcement Directorate, was organizing a fundraising program for the Ahmadi Party, and second was that two crores rupees were delivered to his residence, but there is no money trail. As far as Mani Sisodia or Arvind Kejriwal is concerned, they have been able to at least convince the court prime of SI based on which the High Court decided to not grant any relief to Arvind Kejriwal. And that is the day when Arvind Kejriwal was arrested. Mm. When his remand application was produced before the lower court, even then the Enforcement Directorate was able to convince that there are statements, there is a technical evidence, and there is also a money trail. In Sanjay Singh's case, uh, you know, the court was very clear, there is no money trail as far as Sanjay Singh is concerned. But in case of Arvind Kejriwal... didn't oppose the bail also. Yes, that was... The Enforcement Directorate did oppose the bail. When they, did, they, they, they did oppose the bail. Sanjay Singh's. When yeah, the they did oppose the bail. Okay, let Manish will talk about Okay, so when the hearing was going on, so the court asked this very clearly, and Nalini can throw this, um, throw light on this. The court said very clearly, if we are going to take observation on this case, it may reflect in our order, and it may ref it may impact your trial also. So why don't you go speak to the ED officials, and then I am going to give my order. So two o'clock, the order was set, and. Um, ED said that this is a peculiar case and that is why he should be granted bail. Okay. So as of now, there were options to ED. They could have said that we want to file application before the court, but ED said, no, we don't want to oppose so the bail. Tactical. It was tactical for the enforcement directorate. We can say it is a strategy of the enforcement directorate. But as far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned, and what I want to highlight here is that the money trail in case of Arvind Kejriwal, according to enforcement directorate, is strong. They have called Aam Aadmi Party a company which received allegedly 45 crores of rupees okay. from the South Cartel, and it was spent on uh, the Goa elections. Okay. So, Arvind Kejriwal's case, in comparison to Sanjay Singh's case, is extremely strong as far as ED's narrative okay. is concerned. Okay. So, uh, so, so the, the vendetta versus due process is still, uh, you know, is still very much political until this money trail actually presents itself. And that's what the court actually said. Uh, Nabila, bringing you in now and then I'll bring in the others as well. Vendetta or due process from the outside. The reason why this is, uh, you know, one cannot extract or separate the politics from the due process is because we've got a looming election right in front yeah. of us. And it is the chief of the Aam Aadmi Party and the Delhi chief minister who's now in jail. 
Well, the AAP calls this vendetta because of the timing. Three, two months before Lok Sabha elections, Arvind Kejriwal is arrested. But there were many other leaders who were arrested much before Kejriwal, be it uh, Sanjay Singh for that matter, or even Manish Sisodia. They were arrested way before Arvind Kejriwal, nowhere close to election time. They've been in prison about the details of the case. It's for the case itself to take its legal course. But if you ask me about AAP's perception, let me tell you, Shiv, that Arvind Kejriwal in prison, and if he does not step out or get, manage to get out legally, before elections is really going to hurt the Aam Aadmi Party. Because speaking of sympathy votes, I don't think the AAP really is going to score on that level. Don't I, I don't think there is sympathy because, the, first of all, Arvind Kejriwal started off as an anti-corruption crusader. Uh, and, and to then come up with a liquor policy and then quickly scrap it uh, when BJP accused them of corruption, just show, raised questions on his integrity and the party's integrity. His party itself was born out of the fact that they wanted to give an alternative view and approach to politics. Okay. Uh, corrupt politics uh, that, that so so long persisted, but it seems like they also came down to the same line. In fact, uh, speaking of uh, AAP's alliances, the Congress party was defeated by the BJP in 2014 only because of corruption. So many years that accumulated uh, allegations of corruption, finally the Congress and was I, defeated. I, and I, it was actually the Congress that raised the entire ex excise exactly. policy case. Akshita? Vendetta, due process. I. You know, it's weird, but I'd say both in a way, and this is why. Because first, as far as due process is concerned, I think the larger question, I think Preeti also raised this, which Nalini also can give us more about, is the problem with the PMLA, right? It can be exploited in this manner. It is the due process, unfortunately. So I think till we change that, it remains the due process. When data, why? Because how many netas from which party do you really see being taken up or, you know, being charged under the PMLA? You see a track record, it's very clear, which is why I say it's a bit of both. My concern, Shiv, away from all of this, and if you focus on the politics, is on the Delhi government, mm -hmm. is on governance, right? You've got Arvind Kejriwal taking all of this grandstanding, saying, I'm going to run uh, the government from jail. You had all the AAP MLAs today meeting with Sunita Kejriwal, saying, no, we want him to run the government from jail. We've spoken about this in great detail, about how many challenges there are to actually run a government from behind bars. So then will governance in Delhi suffer as a result of political grandstanding? That's a bigger concern to me right now. Because yes, we've seen this yeah. fight playing out. Uh, but I think that Delhiites, if this continues, if this grandstanding continues, could face problems with regards to governance. Okay, so could there be a you know, president's rule? Could there be somebody else as chief minister? We're seeing a lot of Sunita Kejriwal as well, which is a separate issue altogether. But the legal aspects of what's happening right now are obviously one side of it, Nalini, which you've been tracking very closely. But again, you know, since you've got this election right ahead, just days away from now when the first phase actually kicks in, the politics can't be separated from perceptions of due process. How are you seeing it? Because you've actually tracked it. Uh, well, Shiv, I think because I'm a stickler for law, I think it's completely due process. But at the same time, it's political vendetta that is happening in the form of due process. Because unfortunately, that is the way the law is framed. Now, very important to put, it, put into perspective that the PMLA law under which all of these leaders are behind jail in itself is challenged before, it is it's, it's, it's in itself in challenge before the Supreme Court. So the validity of the law in itself is in question. But till the time the Supreme Court does not rule adversely against the law, it is, like Akshat said, unfortunately the law. It is how things happen. Now, putting into perspective what has happened today, it is always an uphill battle for any accused who has been arrested under the PMLA to get bail. Because like Munish also correctly pointed out, at this stage of grant of bail, the court has to be satisfied that the person is innocent. This is one of the biggest criticisms against PMLA. Because unless and until a trial happens in a case, it's not possible for the court to determine whether or not somebody is innocent. Absolutely. That's what a lot of senior lawyers also have said, that it is extremely draconian because at the stage of grant of bail, it has to be proven and the burden of proof is on the accused mm -hmm. to prove that he is innocent and there was no wrongdoing on his part. Right. Which is why today, even in the Sanjay Singh case, when the Supreme Court raised very pointed questions to the ED, ED knew that in case bail is granted to Sanjay Singh, despite them telling the court not to do it, that in the order there can, there can be seriously adverse observations because the court might find that there was no involvement of Sanjay Singh, which is something that they wanted to avoid, which is why they took a very strategical step of not opposing his bail so that they can reduce the length of the judgment that is coming in from the Supreme Court. There are not too many observations against the ED. The court can simply record that the probe agency had no problems, which is why he is now being allowed out. I, I have a quick uh, thing to 
say that if uh, speaking of perception itself, Arvind Kejriwal skipped summons nine times. So for him to cry vendetta, if he followed due process, just like what you see in courts happening, due process is followed. ED is following due process. Why didn't Arvind Kejriwal follow due process? So nine summons you've skipped, and now you're arrested. Then you cry vendetta. Okay. Uh, that doesn't seem to bode well with a lot of. Uh, people who voted for them initially. And this is something that maybe Munish and Preeti can throw more light on. My question is, yes, he skipped nine summons, but if he had turned up earlier for the summons, would he have anyway been arrested if he had appeared for the summons? So actually, there is a very clear answer to that. You know, as according to Indian law, you have multiple options if you are being summoned by any agency. He had an option of uh, filing the anticipatory bail. He had an option of challenging the uh, summons sent by the enforcement directed. Every time, from the first time when he was summoned in the month of November last year, he always said that ED is going to arrest me. If you are so sure that ED is going to arrest you, why don't you go to the lower court, the high court and the Supreme Court? You could have avoided this day of getting arrested, but he never went to the court because he also knew that the amount of evidence, and why I'm saying this, because it has been almost one and a half year since the time the enforcement directed started naming Arvind Kejriwal in their charge sheet, saying that he spoke to Vijay Nair, he spoke to Samir Mahendru, there was some conspiracy. So ED has been very transparent as as far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned, but he never went to the court fearing that if the anticipatory bail application gets rejected, then sure he is going to arrest it. Was that can I add something yeah. here to what Manisha said? I also think that when it comes to Kejriwal's case, ED shot themselves in the foot a little bit by being the ones who approached court. Because after Kejriwal skipped multiple summons, he did not go to court, but uh, the ED went to court and said that he's. Yeah, ED filed two applications before the trial court saying Kejriwal is not being summoned. And once that was done, Kejriwal used that fact that the matter was now before the court as a continuing reason to skip even further summons. So he did not appear for any summons after that by telling ED that now that you've gone to court, the matter is pending there. So let court give a decision first and then I will appear. So that's something that Kejriwal used against the ED, which was something that ED shot themselves okay. in the foot. Now just zooming out from the legal and enforcement directed aspects on the due process aspects to the politics of it because ultimately it's election season and uh, you know the impact or the effects of what's happening with this case will be known in a few weeks if at all. Uh, Preeti, zooming out now onto the election, you know the, the uh, uh, Ahmadmi party is obviously fire and brimstone as far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned, justifiably so. Politically, how do you see this playing out for the Ahmadmi party as far as the elections are concerned? And for the opposition as well, because for, uh, at the recent rally, Arvind Kejriwal was that, you know, that, that centerpiece. Uh, well, you know, Shiv, if you look at it, um, uh, in terms of uh, politically how it pans out uh, for the Aam Aadmi Party, it's already started. You've seen their press conferences and what they're going to go to town with is very, very simple and clear. They're going to take uh, the observations of what happened in court today. Number one, they're going to say there's no money trail. And they're going to say the trial hasn't even begun, right? There is no money trail, there is no transaction. What is even Arvind Kejriwal saying? He's saying I signed in on no paper. There is no money trail. Even in the case of Manish Sisodia, the, the top court, even though denying bail had said that the money trail establishment of that money trail is tentative which the ed was arguing against so this is what the uh, you know the aam aadmi party is going to go with and the timing of it all is coming together for the aam aadmi party if you look at it because they've been uh, you know that rally they've been at least a constant positioning of arvind kejriwal even though he's incarcerated but to keep him alive in the mind and the memory of the people who are going to vote for him with sunita kejriwal becoming his voice the timing will be important because now it's not just going to be the aam aadmi party you'll have even strangely the likes of the Congress, uh, you know, who were uh, the complainants in this case, uh, will come out and bring the, this sheer fact out. And you can expect a joint press conference soon. Uh, the point in all of this is not about the ED or the case or the summons. The point for the opposition and the Aam Aadmi Party yeah. is that this is political vendetta. This is misuse of state machinery. So for them, it's not to honor the due process of law. They are saying law is being misused by uh, the instigating agencies through the government. Okay. So that's the reason why and that's what they're going to go to town with. The timing of this particular messaging coming in from the Supreme mm -hmm. Court will be very important politically, both for the Aam Aadmi Party and the opposition. Does this put final, uh, final words if you guys want to jump in. Uh, Munish, the money trail aspect is going to become you know, an emotive catchphrase. It has been for a long time now. Now that the Supreme Court has said it while granting bail to, uh, to Sanjay Singh, is there pressure now in the enforcement directorate to show that money trail or demonstrate where that money trail is? 
I don't think so because uh, uh, you know this case was pertaining to only Sanjay Singh and that was the observation made by the court also. ED has also not said anywhere that apart from 2 crore rupees he had any part or any role in the entire alleged excise policy scam case. As far as other people are concerned, for example, Mani Sisodia, he was the one who was heading the ministry at that point of time. Arvind Kejriwal, they have said that Arvind Kejriwal, being the convener of the party, he was kingpin and he played an important role, an important role in the entire conspiracy and more than 45 crore rupees went to Amadmi party for Goa elections. So it is not going to impact enforcement directorate at all. As far as what Preeti was mentioning just now, you know, um, what I believe and what I've seen in Delhi politics that the Aam Aadmi Party or Arvind Kejriwal has to convince his voters, mm. but that's not what I'm seeing on the ground. I'm not seeing protests by the common people or they are coming on the road saying that our chief minister has been arrested. I have not seen anywhere. And no a, big uprising. No either. big uprising so far I've seen. So I'm, I don't think okay. it is happening for Aam Aadmi Party also. Right. Do, do, you, do you think that's a sign of uh, things to come as far as the election is concerned? You said that sympathy is complicated. Sure enough, whatever be the details of the case, I think a perception has already been established that and and if it was any other leadership i don't think it would have hurt as much because it's arvind kejriwal who always portrayed to be this really staunch honest uh, uh, alternative to uh, politics in india it's all the more uh, damaging for his reputation that he's currently in, behind bars on corruption uh, of course the implication will happen after trial but the fact that he's already in prison now a perception created that they could be corrupt. And based on perception itself, governments have fallen. Like I said, Bofa's scam, no uh, conclusive report on that scam till date. Uh, be it coal scam, 2G scam. The Congress finally got defeated by the BJP in 2014. It took a little while, but so far those cases are still hanging. But the damage is done. What about the fact that uh, he removed Manish Sodia and yeah. Satinder Jain from the ministry, but before, as far as he is concerned, yeah. he is not he's going to... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll we'll have to do a completely separate uh, democratic newsroom on the Game of Thrones within the Aam Aadmi Party, and Preeti will have to be here for that. But Akshita, last word to you. <clears throat> the Aam Aadmi Party has prided itself as an anti-corruption, no-nonsense, no family. You know, we're seeing a lot of Sunita Kejriwal front and center now, even though she's not a politician. Do you think that's damaging the party? The perception battle. You know, very much. And as far as the perception battle goes, what Munish was also referring to uh, about the protests. On a lighter note, when I was there, when Arjun Kejriwal was being arrested, very few protests. And I kept thinking that, you know, they should perhaps learn from our South politicians on how to really ensure that you make the most of this kind of a and moment and send out a mind. message. Exactly. So, you know, where was the messaging being sent across that this is our leader, he's going behind bars, political vendetta, political conspiracy, or whatever you've been saying. Keeping that aside, to your question, Shiv, about how this really dents the Aam Aadmi Party. I think they're trying, and Preeti said that, about how they're trying to create this narrative of us being targeted, sympathy, etc. I think what will hurt them largely is if a messaging is sent across that governance doesn't matter, our political brownie points matter more, which is why I come back to the point that I made earlier uh, about how Delhi's governance could suffer. Look, whatever sympathy vote you get, at the end of the day, if people don't get the facilities, provisions that they expect from the government, that sympathy vote is going to go away. So I think that for the Aam Aadmi Party and for Arvind Kejriwal, as much as you know, they're all like he will remain the chief minister, governance gets dented, they're not going to benefit from this, is my view. That's a wrap on Democratic Newsroom. Remember, this is an unfolding story. The story isn't uh, anywhere remotely close to being over just yet. In the courts, in Tihar jail, in the party headquarters of the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP. So expect to hear much more about this right here on India Today. Thanks for watching. Arrested in October by the Enforcement Directorate, six months later, AAP MP Sanjay Singh granted bail in connection with the alleged Delhi liquor scam. Sanjay Singh has been granted bail because ED did not argue their case at all and conceded on the bail because it was all apparent during the hearing and it was made clear by the judges. Honorable judges has made it clear before lunch that the against Sanjay Singh, there is no credible material to make a case against him. The bail order issued by the Supreme Court. A bench of justices Sanjeev Khanna, Dipankar Datta and Prasanna B. Varale was hearing Sanjay Singh's plea in the excise policy case. 
आप वेलकम संजय सिंह बेल मुझे लगता है कि आज पूरे देश की लोकतंत्र के लिए बहुत बड़ा दिन है बहुत खुशी का दिन है बहुत उम्मीद का दिन है कि शायद कुछ लोग अब जेल से बाहर निकल के इस देश के लोकतंत्र को बचा लें मीन वाइल बीजेपी स्लैम्ड आप सेइंग नाउ आप कांट अक्यूज एजेंसीज ऑफ बीइंग इन्वॉल्व इन वेंडेटा पॉलिटिक्स दिस बेल हैज बीन ग्रांटेड व्हेन ईडी एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द प्रोसीडिंग्स हैज नॉट अपोज द बेल ऑफ संजय सिंह फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स द आम आदमी पार्टी कैन नॉट क्लेम इवन फॉर अ मोमेंट दैट एनी ऑफ द एजेंसीज पर्टिकुलरली द ईडी और द सीबीआई इज इंडल्जिंग इन एनी काइंड ऑफ वेंडेटा पॉलिटिक्स यदि ऐसा होता तो बेल को अपोज किया जाता संजय सिंह हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट सीनियर आप लीडर टू बी ग्रांटेड रेगुलर बेल इन द मनी लॉन्डरिंग केस लिंक टू द लिगर पॉलिसी डेली चीफ मिनिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल एंड हिज फॉर्मर डेप्यूटी मनीष सिसोदिया रिमेन अंडर जुडिशियल कस्टडी इन द सेम केस ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे बड़ी राहत है और किस ग्राउंड पर कोर्ट ने राहत दी ये एक बहुत बड़ी जीत है इस पूरे तथा कथित एक्साइज मामले में आम आदमी पार्टी के जो तमाम वरिष्ठ नेताओं को ईडी ने बिना किसी सबूत के गिरफ्तार किया हुआ था आज उसी ईडी ने कहा भाई कि इनके खिलाफ कोई सबूत मौजूद नहीं है आप इन्हें बेल दीजिए ईडी ने ईडी ने क्या ऑब्जेक्शन किए थे जिसे अदालत ने नजरअंदाज किया देखिए ईडी ईडी ने आ, उन्होंने कहा उन्होंने तो पहले तो ये कहा कि इनको जो है बेल दे दी जाए दूसरा उनके पास जो तीन सवाल पूछे थे कि आप दो करोड़ रुपए का एलिगेशन जो लगा रहे हैं उसका क्या प्रूफ है दूसरा साढ़े छह महीने से आप जेल में रखे हुए हैं क्या आप उनको आपको जेल में रखने से क्या फायदा और तीसरा कि इनके खिलाफ मनी ट्रेल को लेकर आपके पास क्या सबूत मौजूद थे ये बताइए आप तो ईडी का जवाब क्या था ईडी का जवाब कुछ भी नहीं था वो आके कहते हैं जी इनको बेल दे दीजिए क्योंकि उनके पास अगर जवाब होता तो वो जवाब दे पाते उनको पता था कि इनका जवाब नहीं है ये सारे केस झूठे बनाए हुए हैं तो ईडी ने बिना कुछ कहे हुए कहते हैं जी की मान्य अदालत इनको जमानत दे दी जाए हमें ऑब्जेक्शन नहीं है Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at ajtag dot com. by 
Hyundai Creta N-Line. Mutual funds सही है. LIC of India हर पल आपके साथ. Why not battle heats up? Allies fight it out in Kerala. Left mocks Rahul. Why not fight in the north? Huh? Rahul Gandhi. You put up on the area there. Kerala Tiruana. BJP rakes up SDPI backing for Congress. He is seeking the support of the PFI. Is it a secularist mode? You are always working for the anti-national elements. The Wyanard War is the big focus on 6 p.m. Prime. Good evening, you're watching 6pm Prime here on India Today. I'm Akshita Nandagopal and this evening we're counting down to the big Vyanad battle. It's in phase two of the elections at Kerala, the full state goes to polls. But tomorrow is the last day to go ahead and file nominations. So you're going to see Rahul Gandhi and his own ally, the left, Annie Raja, who's not shied away from taking on Rahul despite being allies outside of Kerala, both filing their nominations tomorrow. We're going to be getting you all the latest coming in on that Wyanad battle, we have our reporters live from this crucial constituency. And of course, BJP Kerala Chief K. Surendran, who's taking on Rahul Gandhi in Wyanad, will also be joining us live in just a bit. So that's what we have lined up for you as part of the Indian Political League. Nikhil Nas is getting us the latest on the Indian Premier League. Nikhil, good evening. What do you have in store for us today? Well, good evening, Akshita. I know it's the story of two captains. In the Indian Political League, it's about Arvind Kejriwal. He's under pressure, but at least his team is backing him. I'm going to be talking about the other big city in India, in the Indian Premier League. That's the Mumbai Indians. The captain there is under fire. And unfortunately for him, he's not getting the backing that he really wants. That's coming away at 6.30 p.m. Well, we've been seeing a whole lot of that ourselves in politics in Maharashtra with all of the permutations and commutations playing out really as far as alliances go. Thanks very much, Nikhil. You can watch out for all the highlights of the Indian Premier League at 6.30 this evening. But let's begin this broadcast with the headlines. Prime Minister Modi's big attack on the opposition reiterates pledge to crack down on corruption, says he want Brashtachar Hatao, but opposition wants Brashtachar Bachao. मैं कहता हूं भ्रष्टाचार हटाओ वो कहते हैं भ्रष्टाचारी बचाओ आप नेता संजय सिंह गेट्स बेल आफ्टर स्पेंडिंग सिक्स मंथ्स इन जेल इन लिकेट केस सिंह इज द फर्स्ट 